Jesus is an EMT. He uh, started his way into medicine by becoming an EMT in the Red Cross in Mexico in 2008 and then started medical school in 2009. He's now a senior medical student uh, in Mexico and he's been involved with PACEMD, the program Dr. Haywood Hall talked about earlier this morning, since 2011. He's now the PACE Corps manager and is helping to bring more students to be involved with PACEMD. And his talk is about recruiting healthcare students for social impact. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for being here. Thank Dr. Haywood Hall and Mrs. Van Cotero for having me here today. Uh, and a lot of people in the PACE office back there that couldn't be here today, but they have a lot of credit for this. Uh, so as you heard, this project is about students at the beginning. But now we know that the students are the first step for this program, but entrepreneurs in healthcare involves more people that could help us in this project. And this project was born um, with the philosophy of PACE, to have emergency training at all levels, starting from that person that maybe is a family member and sees uh, his father or his grandfather with a stroke and knows what to do. And get to the specialty doctors that can use the highest technology and know how to triage and treat these kind of cases and try to down the mortality. Uh, CORE is um, a Spanish acronym uh, that involves training, uh, opportunities, challenges, for students and now for entrepreneurs that we think it's a good strategy, uh, strategy to bring all of that, I, those ideas that try to bring emergency training to everyone, everyone who's, who is involved. So this is the situation in Mexico right now. It's kind of concerning. There are a lot of EMTs. Most of them are basic, but they need adequate training. Some, sometimes they finish a uh, one year of training, and they need to learn more skills that they don't know. There are 200,000 physicians, and most of them are general practitioners. This means they don't have any specialty, and many of them are in the ER rooms, training patients. Most of them train because they have the experience of previous courses, and most of them don't know that, I don't know, in AHA in 2010 changed the guidelines. Many of them don't know that. So it's kind of concerning. And there's no data about first responders. You go to Mexico and see the people in there, and they don't know what to do in case of an emergency. It's, it's kind of concerning. There are two emergency numbers, and they don't remember one. So the culture and educating the people in their families is a big step that needs to be done in Mexico. So PACE course started in the University of Salayam, the university where I come from. And I started thinking about, well, there are many doctors that are not uh, interested in teaching others these kind of skills, of life supporting skills, or they don't know that they can teach. But there are students that are interested in. And those people that you see there, there, there are plenty others that couldn't be in that picture. Uh, they are now instructors of BLS, ACLS, PHATLS, and they have proven a lot of doctors that they are involved with, then they can teach other doctors and even specialties the necessary skills to bring uh, basic attention in case of emergencies. Um, so this space core program is developed for social entrepreneurs. It's not just the training. It's having the ideas that they can offer and use them so we can improve the attention of the medical emergencies in Mexico. And we hope around the world if this idea uh, heads up. I have seen a uh, publication in Sweden and in Brazil where they have seen that students can help in this kind of stuff. And if you go to Mexico, you will see that many firemen uh, are not trained in basic, uh, basic life support skills. And they had to be because they are in contact with all those people. A lot of EMT, uh, basic EMTs, are trained under um, old guidelines and they are helping people, but they don't have the necessary, tra the necessary training. And that's concerning. And there are two, there are two big uh, obstacles down there. One, for the EMTs, most of them are volunteer. And the, one, uh, the ones that earn money earn around $60 for two weeks of work. 
So they, don't, they can't afford this kind of training, and this is what we are trying to uh, change. We want to give them the opportunity to get training and to teach others these kind of skills. And the doctors who can afford these courses are not interested, are, are not interested in to. So it's, it's worrying. Um, so the training is based in international standards, AHA and AMT, the AAFP, uh, the AFP, sorry, and opportunities for they to develop the, the, uh, their own ideas, challenge, because they have to learn to first the skills to save this kind of lives, and they have to learn to teach. So it's, it's a, a real big challenge for them. And they are going to get um, the title of agents of social change, because what they do is going to have a, a, re a really big uh, impact in the community. So we're recruiting and developing entrepreneurs to create this group of agents of social change that have a humanitarian vision aim to promote the community where they are able to solve emergency, uh, medical emergencies and teach others involved in the prayer hospital and hospital emergency care. And this is the way we are trying to do this. So, they are getting trained in helping babies read. They are getting trained in BLSO, AHA courses. This is all, all life support courses that can be learned in a weekend, but this is not about just uh, teaching or having providers. It's those providers being able to teach the courses. So we are going to have contact with them for a lot of time, and they are going to be able to improve every time they have the chance to teach one of those courses to other people. So if you imagine that you have a 50 person uh, BLS course, and from those 50 persons, you have 10 people, 10 people that may be EMTs, basic EMTs, but they have the heart and the courage to say, hey, I want to teach other people this kind of stuff, but I don't have money. Uh, I don't know what I have to do. Or you might have doctors that have the money, but they don't have the platform. So PACE is that platform. We are trying to have them in, in our network and become them instructors, and they can even earn money in some courses and be um, in the community giving free courses. A big example is what we did in Chiapas last year. We, uh, in one weekend, all students uh, teach around 300 people basic CPR skills. And uh, there were this course of BLSO and helping babies read for another around 200 people. So if you take a look at us, this is a chain where PACE has the platform uh, in most of the 31 states of Mexico. And if we have one PACE core member in each, each state, they can bu build their own little network, and that way we can help the community, starting from Mexico. But I think this, this can be uh, applicable for a lot of countries that, that have uh, emergency care crisis that we have been talking about all this day. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.